Right now, it's crunch time for humans and our relationship with the planet. Our population is exploding and our demand for energy is going through the roof. Something needs to change, fast. From the buildings we inhabit to the cars we drive, I'm meeting innovators around the world who are harnessing new technology to power solutions to some of our biggest challenges. I'm in Belgium, visiting one of the most cutting edge factories on the planet. I'll also be checking out an offshore wind farm, tackling the often unmentioned impacts of renewable energy. I'm Leslie Dewan, nuclear engineer and National Geographic explorer, and this is Electric Earth. When it comes to cars, there's a lot of talk about cutting emissions and using clever technology to make them smarter. This new Audi e-tron I'm driving is a prime example of that. But you can't truly claim to have a zero emissions vehicle if the factory that builds them is gobbling up electricity and churning out pollution. Audi is tackling this issue head on. The cutting edge plant where this e-tron was built is leaps ahead in the world of automotive production. Audi has created the world's first completely carbon neutral EV plant. But what does that actually mean? Manufacturing electric cars requires a lot more energy than making conventional vehicles. Yes, we know we are a huge uh, electricity and energy consumer, but therefore we have our own environment-friendly electricity production. For example, we have about 57,000 meters square of solar panel that are enough to produce electricity for about 1,000 households in a year. There's so many moving parts that come into this. Like it goes, it goes beyond the car itself. What's, what's your carbon footprint like? Well, now we are absolutely carbon neutral because next to the on-site environmentally friendly and efficient production, we also use green electricity and green gas. Where do you see the future going for Audi? Audi thinks a lot further than just the car. We think about the whole mobility concept. We are now producing our own e-scooter that you can put into the boot of your car. And that's for the last miles from where we put the car to where we really want to end. And you can you can steer it like a skateboard? Yes, you can. Can I try it out? Yes, go on. It's impressive to see what Audi is doing here. We need to see more plants like this everywhere. It's not enough to just create a car that is emissions-free in its construction and waste. We need to get to a place where the very electricity that we're charging our cars with is responsibly and mindfully produced too. Wind farms on this scale show real progress in using technology to harness energy from nature. But beneath the surface, this seismic shift in clean energy production can impact our marine life. Just looking around us, you can see how much this has changed the environment. So how do you address the effects that it has on the nearby marine life? Obviously, during construction, there's quite some noise, but we install the, the bubble curtain technique. Basically, we put a hose on the seabed from which we let air bubbles escape, and that blocks off the noise. So, pile driver in the middle, ring of bubbles all around, and the sound wave hits the wall of bubbles, it, it absorbs it, it damps it. Yes. We're in the middle of one of the seven wind farms, and that hosts like 600,000 households. Oh my gosh. And then by end of 2020, all seven will be fully operational. Belgium has strong renewable energy targets, but this clean electricity must be created thoughtfully. If we're going to become a carbon neutral species, we need more innovations like the bubble curtain. The world is moving into an electric future so fast, yet with these new technologies come new challenges to overcome. However, it's inspiring to meet so many people who are working so hard to ensure that the future is being realized in the right way, making the ride into the future as smooth as possible.